questions. I rise to explain my no vote in disappointment that the first bill that comes out of this body in the 2017 General Assembly is an act that will not create jobs. Democrats tried to make every argument, but in only three days, Republican pushed through a bill requiring ultrasounds before abortions. A pro-choice rally did little to change their minds. Some say the bill takes the choice away from women. We will not go back. We will not go back. Women cannot be trusted to be moral agents in their lives. Women cannot be trusted to make moral decisions. It is with accurate information that a patient can make an informed decision regarding their treatment, whether it is treatment for a brain tumor requiring an MRI or a CAT scan, or if it is to determine the health and the progress of a pregnancy through an ultrasound. But Republicans say the bill is not about limiting choice. This bill seeks to inform the patient of what else is growing in her body and how large it is and how old it is and if there's more than one and maybe if the baby's even uh, has passed. This is an informational bill that will help women make informed decisions. Now here's another sign that Republicans aren't messing around. They'll be convening on Saturday, which is extremely unusual. In Frankfurt, Mark Vandroff. WLKY News. Mark, thank you. The Republican-led Senate approved two bills today. One bars companies from automatically withholding union dues from employee paychecks unless an employee gets remission. It also bans unions from using dues to make political contributions. The Senate also approved a bill that would ban abortions after 20 weeks of pregnancy. That bill now moves on to the House, where it's expected to receive overwhelming support.